Okay, welcome. Today we're going to do a video on the area of a circle. So today's topic is area of a circle. So again, we've got a circle. The distance all the way around is called the circumference. The line going straight through the middle is called the diameter. I'll label that B. And the line that goes from the middle to the outside of the circle is the radius which we'll label R. And as we all know, to find the area of a circle, we're going to use the formula area A equals pi R squared. And remember, pi again is just the number 3.14. And it's a button on the calculator, and we can use the calculator to work out what pi is. Okay, so we're going to go straight into a few examples. Okay, example one. So example one, calculate the area of the circle. So we start off by writing the formula. A equals pi r squared. Pi r squared. We then go on and substitute. So we've got pi times 6 squared. We can put all that straight into the calculator. I'll show you how to do squared in a minute. If you do pi times 6 squared in the calculator, you get 113. 0.097. So rounding that maybe to one decimal place, you get 113.1 centimetres squared. Okay, example two. So example two, this time we're given the diameter, but we're still asked to calculate the area. So this time I'm going to have to mark on my circle the radius. And remember the radius is half the diameter. So half an 8.4 gives me 4.2 centimetres. And I start the same way again. Area equals pi r squared. So that's pi times 4.2 squared. Putting all that into a calculator, this time I would get 55.417. Dot, 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 to show I've not rounded it. Rounding that to maybe one decimal place. 55.4 and the units centimetres squared. Always squared units for area. Okay, I'm not I'm using a calculator. So we've got two calculators here. We've got Casio and Sharp. So remember from yesterday's video, but I'll remind you again to get the pi button. You press shift and then the x, 10x button, and that'll give you pi. If you want to square a number, say I want to do 6 squared, I'd press 6, then I'd press the x squared button, which is here. That'll give you 6 squared. On a sharp calculator, if you want to get the pi button, the pi button is just on the top or line of the calculator, which is right here. And if I want a square button, it's very similar. If I want to do 6 squared, I'd press 6, and use the x squared button as well and that would give us everything we need to calculate the area of a circle. Okay. Mr. Cleland here, thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe to the channel and check the description for some extra websites and worksheets that can help you further with this topic.